this is a quick video to show you how to create earthquake loading on structures the question is to determine the seismic design forces acting at each floor of the sixth story of his building the structure of the building consists of steel moment frames all joints are rigid that have an r value of 8 the 75 feet tall building is located in a high seismic region with st1 is equal to 0.4 g and sts is equal to 1.0 g for a building supported on rock where g is the gravitational acceleration and the dead weight of each floor is 700 kips this is uh, a diagram of the this is the diagram of the building you can see that there is there are uh, six floors plus the roof the ground floor the first floor uh, has a height of 15 feet while the remaining have a height of 12 feet now the first thing that we need to do is to calculate the fundamental period to calculate the fundamental period the equation that we have is t or the time period is equal to ct hn to the power x where ct uh, is 0 0.028 for uh, steel structures and x is 0 0.8 and hn is the height of the building which is 75 we get a time period of 0 0.89 seconds next quantity that we need to calculate are the floor weights now it is given in the question that the dead weight of each floor is 700 kips so we do not have to do any calculation however if this figure is not given to us we will have to calculate the dead weight on each floor by lumping the dead weights onto the floor levels that is we divide the structure at mid height of each floor and we lump these weights to the nearest floor and thereby we can calculate the weight of each floor in this case the total weight is 700 times 6 which is 2400 kips the next most important thing that we need to calculate are the importance factors and the response modification factor R I is occupancy importance factor this is one for office buildings while a higher value for more critical structures like hospitals police stations and public safety and public facilities for the current problem the value of I is 1 the value of R or the response modification factor is listed uh, here and in our case the value of R is 8 which corresponds to ductile steel or concrete frame with rigid joints. The next thing that we need to calculate is the base shear. For base shear we need to calculate three quantities which is V, uh, V max and V min. These are the limits of V. If we get a value of V which is greater than V max we have to use the value of V max. And if the value of V is less than V minimum, we have to use the value of V minimum. Now V is calculated by uh, this equation. ST1 is given in the question. W has been calculated. Time period was calculated. R and I is known. When we substitute all of these, we get the value of V as 236 kips. V max is similarly calculated and we get a value of 525, which is higher than uh, V. And the V minimum uh, can be calculated using this equation and the value is 184. This shows that the value of V that we need to use for the problem is 236 kips. Now this is a little involved process which involves the calculation of equivalent static loads on each floor. Now the equation that we use is fx and there uh, and we need to calculate certain quantities such as wx hx k v is known to us 
and this summation value of k is calculated using this equation this is a function of time period of the structure which has been calculated earlier so we get a value of k as 1.2 then we need to make a table uh, to calculate certain quantities which involves floor weight of each floor floor height the uh, and based on WIHI we can calculate this quantity which is WIHI to the power K and quantity uh, like this one and then finally FX which is just multiplying this quantity with the value of V now from here we see that the, the floors have been uh, have been written down here being starting from second floor to the roof uh, since it's given in the question we know that the floor weight is 700 kips per floor the height is written from the base this is the datum and this is 15 and this is 27 from the base and so on now the sum of all the weights as we calculated earlier is 4200 kips and WIHI to the power K is calculated by multiplying this with this and raising this to the power K we get this quantity and this can be uh, easily calculated if you are uh, working on Excel this is quite easy you just, you just have to drag the cell and we find the sum of all this which gives us a value of 415,262 now we need to what we need to do is to divide this to the summation so we get 0 0.3 0 0.423 and so on and when we multiply this particular value with V we get the value of FX uh, for the top floor uh, for the roof then this is for the sixth floor this for the fifth fifth floor and so on so this means uh, and we see that when you take the sum we get back the value of v essentially we are just distributing the base shear onto each floors uh, in a uh, in a formalized way now finally we get these values and this means that now we have uh, converted the earthquake load into equivalent static loads acting on each floors this makes the analysis very simple uh, whether you are doing a hand calculation or uh, uh, using software thank you